when you hold them like a bunch of keys you can find rest knowing that your life must become exceptional all you need to do is begin to travel when you stand before a door you check and remember the holy ghost is with you there what mystery opens that door and he says open this twice the mystery that opens this door is there is he that scattereth and yet increaseth there is he that withholdeth more than his meat and tends to poverty you get to a door and the mystery that opens it is that you sow both bread and seed seed is for eating bread is for sowing but there are certain doors that both bread and seed together is what opens them that you can cast your bread before the waters and in this case you will find it after many days then you open that door you can get to another door he says i will call upon the lord who is worthy of praise by doing that i will be saved from my enemy so when it is clear that defeat is imminent you will back up like the days of jehoshaphat write your prayer request on the ground and dance like a madman while people are sleeping over something you know has been concluded and while that is happening ah the god of heaven is turning things around yeah is turning things around Oh is turning things around oh my goodness. at midnight while the rest were sleeping paul and silas said you wasted your time by closing this door you would have chained me in the days of my ignorance but we are not just here as empty apostles we know what to do when they prayed they saw angels they said get out of my way i need god himself to come here the bible says they sang they sang aloud because their singing aloud was putting pressure on his integrity suddenly the one who sits on the throne they sang it so beautifully and even unto the lamb he arose and said nonsense let me see the gate that is covering you and he scattered it into pieces let me show you peace and rest that comes through master mastery the jailer took knife to kill himself he said don't rush this is a result we can reproduce again there's no point killing yourself when jesus resurrected he did not rush out of the grave no no there's no need rushing i rose up by myself what am i running for and he came out with honor and dignity i can do it again if need be i am the resurrection and the life Are you ready to pray I thought we'll have time so that I will share with you in my entire life I hope that we'll take it in some other series we didn't finish covering what I intended we'll cover tonight but there are nine of these mysteries that the Lord gave to me nine for an unbeatable spiritual life some of them whilst i learned them as i listened to our fathers of faith i had them saying the same thing expressing it in different ways nine when you find these keys you will stand and play life like you are playing a chess go this way go that way believe me i apologize if it sounds like pride behind results at work are these mysteries they are the defense systems of masters you stand and they become a garrison to you irrefutable backed up by the jealousy of god himself you can take it to any nation and take it anywhere people will think you are making noise till the result humbles them hear me we make our boast in the lord and on the strength of the mysteries we have held and these mysteries they are not for individuals they are for the body to be dispensed so that on the strength of these mysteries you can turn back and go rejoicing knowing that life can be at your command we command results intentionally i hope please do not miss any one of these i hope that god will grant grace 
and will touch all nine of them the mysteries that control fearful results in this life every student prepares for exams but it's the result that the marker when the lecturer marks they place it on the board you will come and see what you wrote there is that true how many of you remember people who will make a lot of noise after exam the answer is five the answer is ten whereas someone will just keep quiet as if he doesn't know anything that's the person you will see getting 95 97 and someone is making noise nonsense from morning till night and you find out that you will get seven or twelve God is bringing us to that place of mastery noiseless victory it is the results that will make the noise are you ready to pray prayer point number one Lord I am tired of shadow boxing around my destiny I want you to bring me to a place of quintessence a place of mastery spiritually financially and otherwise please lift your voice and pray we came to pray a few minutes of prayer are you praying he that strives for mastery is not proud except he strives lawfully the mysteries of the kingdom controlling results spiritual patterns leading men to predictable outcomes hallelujah look up please we are going to pray as we prepare to begin to feast on these mysteries in the coming weeks you are going to pray and say lord open my eyes understanding is a real miracle i'm telling you then open he their understanding that they might understand scripture are you ready to pray lord open my eyes to see may i see what my father did not see may i see what those who have gone ahead of me did not see in the name of jesus please pray please pray in the name of jesus the christ of god Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Scripture says, He that told you have asked for nothing. The seed for receiving is asking. He said, Ask and you shall receive that your joy may be full. Listen, you're going to pray one serious prayer. Father, the door that stands before me now, what is the mystery that opens it? Reveal it to me. Please lift your voice and pray. Every door standing before us, there is a mystery and there is a pattern in ministry. The door of the next level for your spiritual life. Show me. Show me by your mercy the door to signs and wonders the door to increase and multiplication the door to influence and visibility the door to grace and power from on high 
Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. In the ministry of William Branham, of blessed memory, the Lord gave him a code and said, There is an angel that I will send to walk with you. And that every time his prophetic gift was to be opened and unlocked, he would have to wait until that angel came. And it was recorded that many times they would wait for as, as long as an hour. They would sing psalms, hymns, spiritual songs. They would be angry. He would stand there and say, I can do nothing. I was instructed that it is the coming of this angel that opens up my prophetic fountain. And later in the middle of nowhere, he will just say, wow, the angel has come. And within minutes, the time lag will be well paid for, justifiably paid for by the level of divine unction. For Samson, it was his hair, not even his hands. Protect your hair as a Nazarene. It's not just something that rolls around your hair. There is a mystery attached to it. For the young lad and that crusade ground, the mystery was hidden in five loaves and two fish. Whoever was careless with that five loaf and two fish will not only be stopping a young man from eating, he will be stopping 5,000 people from having healthy meals. For many of you, God will give you certain secrets that for the next six months, your secret is your prayer life. Not just random as believers. Pray from 12 to 1. There is something I want to do. It's a personalized dealing. You miss out on that unique instruction, you'll be surprised how powerless you will be. Are we together? For Archbishop Benson, either whole side was said that a time came, God gave him an instruction that 80% of his earnings would have to go was a sacrifice. But leaving off 20% made him so wealthy, he was so blessed, he was so visible, he went around the world 53 times. It is the divine strategy that is given to us that provides for victory. When you stand before Jericho, don't guess how to bring it down. Jericho is a fearful city. Five chariots can stand on the fence. You need a strategy. Because even if Jericho falls down, you still cannot pass it. It will still become another fence. You need a formula. Sometimes it may not make sense. You will go around six times. Foolishly so. And then you go around seven times on the seventh day and you will be asked to shout for some of you and it is in that shout that Jericho falls down there are some of you God would tell you to go for a three days dry fasting dry means dry and it's in that fasting he will reveal to you the ordinances of the next level of your life for some of you God will give you very dangerous instructions some of you God will say for the next one week Gather all your family members who are praying every day. Whoever is sleeping should sleep in the parlor. They carry the person and bring the person out. And you are praying. That is the instruction. For some of you, your strategy is hold your peace and allow me fight. Step out of the way. Your worry is interrupting my battle. Just step back and allow me be the one who stands for you. Lord, what is the strategy on our way from Egypt leaving this place? I will come to you as a pillar of cloud by day and a pillar of fire by night. If you don't see fire by night, don't move. If you don't see cloud by day, don't move. I am not there. Don't guess. Saul. You are a king, but you are not a prophet. Don't offer sacrifices. And the people pressured Saul. They said, look, Samuel is wasting our time. We can't be here. Are you not a king? And out of pressure, he offered the sacrifices. To God or not to an idol. As soon as he was done, Samuel came. 
and said Saul you have done foolishly what did you do you would have allowed me come and God would have established your throne forever but now for violating patterns the throne is taken away from you God can ask you to carry a seed and give a man of God because you don't want it to leave your house you carried it and gave your child you did not obey that's that's disobedience listen I'm saying this because as you leave this place God will not leave you without a witness you will hear him and he will speak to you he will give you instructions he will tell you things some of them may be ego stinging but they contain in them the mysteries of the kingdom if you have the childlike approach to listen you will be surprised what will happen to you are we blessed for some of you god is going to give you instructions dust your cv and keep it have soft copies and keep it but i'm not applying for anything just do what i'm asking you to do a gentleman got a job by sending a text by mistake to a general he felt like dying because he knew that he had abused the privilege and the general called back he was afraid he said who is this i'm so, so, so I'm, I'm sorry sir i was to send it to somebody he said no no problem come and meet me in my office that became his job that was not a mistake it was the holy ghost directing him to his place of destiny don't choose who will help you allow god choose them you choose who will help you you, you will be punished by the vacillations of men's emotion i will help you today tomorrow they'll say i can't remember telling you that look on to god they looked on to him and their faces were lightened the bible says we have to close let me pray for you father in the name of jesus christ we say amen to everything you are doing amen 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 to our lifting and to our rising amen amen as a family of faith we are receiving that prophetic word let it be so for us oh god visibility to influence to favor to speed to high level spirituality to fresh unction you are receiving you are not just singing one more time Full testimonies come this week to multiply opportunities to open doors to the salvation of our loved ones we say amen to exemption from kidnappers to exemption from the the scorching tongues of men for the last time as a family of faith Every time I look at this next generation of Koinonia, our little ones, do you know what I tell myself? We have to run fast and correct everything that our parents could not correct in our lives before our children come. Correct it fast. I look at these dear ones and I'm imagining a time that they will now start growing and all of a sudden they will become victims. Our parents were sincere people, but they didn't know the way out. So many of us, we are in the middle of two generations. Correcting the errors of the father and setting precedents for a new generation is worth enduring. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Hear me. You are, you are hearing this message tonight. If you are a lady here, as you are hearing it, just, just know that you are, you are hearing it not just for yourself, 
but you are hearing it for a generation you ignore what i'm saying it will pain you to watch your children go through this and you will remember you had a chance to be free no. i cannot allow my children go through this let me suffer it let me go through it no matter what it will cost me if i go through the delay let it be that is me that went through for them so that these dear ones will move forward if i go through the poverty let it be that it's me that will suffer it but not that i will bring a child and watch your child die like a chicken and turn and say father what did i do wrong and you say me too that's how i saw it everybody shout no way how many students do very well secondary school brilliant people why nine papers they step into the university and all of a sudden hundred level result nine f's you think they are dull they are conducting tutorials but they enter the exam hall they only remember in the night when the exam has finished it's not everybody who is lazy let me tell you what of recurrent sicknesses there are people today there is no month they don't fall sick Go to the hospital they will tell you nothing is wrong now the doctors are wiser thank god for spiritual people becoming doctors they don't waste time again the moment they diagnose you they see that you have come once twice they'll say do you know what find any available crusade and run quickly go to the front early and stand there and trust god to wipe your tears that's why we need more spiritual people getting into our hospitals so that they will not allow people to die like chickens I look forward to times where God will give men and women of power. The moment you are a midwife helping a woman give birth and the baby is not coming out, you detect by the spirit, this is witchcraft. Right there, Shagato Soto Labaya. Help that lady. And all of a sudden, you find out that that woman gives birth. Koinonia today is not rising because there are no demons. Let me tell you, make no mistakes. Only God knows how many powers try to kill me every day. I told you all the time. Only God knows how many people take my name to shrine. Oh, it has never happened in Israel. There was a woman called the widow of Nain. What killed her husband? she had only one child one child the husband now died the child now died on her way going jesus so i said no this is not the issue of burial i need to change something here there are families you will see them in a community 32 people only one percent of them are men and all the men are mad men they are not they are, their brains are not even in place again mad men it's a woman that pays the school fees of children. It's a woman that drives car. It's a woman that builds a house. It's a woman that does everything. All the men become useless. You see them playing draft in the morning and laughing and taking beer. It's a cause. There are families with a cause where the children never see their grandparents. Either they are in exile or they die. Please, tonight you are going to offer yourself as a living sacrifice that will change this. You, you will have to be a wicked person if you allow your children to go through this thing. I'm telling you. What of poverty? What of poverty? There are many people who went to Harvard came back anything they start die the day you want to start importing it that's when government banned it why was it exactly others have finished making their money just when you were about to start what of people in ministry they think it's normal everybody they raise disappoints them there is a spirit they raise so many men but they disappoint them there is no helper a man will be 30 years in ministry who has become a father in the faith you should have people to you should not beg 
for bread again but there is no man you call for help there is nobody some of you see some of these women walking on the street 71 years carrying firewood where are the children she gave birth to where are they one is in prison the other one is security somewhere and they are about to throw him out you find families where a lady has seven children from seven different men seven different men she honestly does not even know which one is the husband of which because a madman will just rape her somewhere and sometimes she can even be coming back from the house of god it's a programming it looks like a coincidence what kind of coincidence keeps happening you start business you crash you always lose money you always lose joy you always lose peace you always run into trouble they are chasing a thief the moment they pass you that's when police will say from this place pack all of them you were innocent it's a programming you reign you ancient Zion's king Kadosh Kadosh you are my king on your own Break forth, thou fountains of the deep, and we have done you are mighty on your throne. Listen, help me. How can a man lose a job in 1999 until now he has not gotten a job? Is it that dull? Let me tell you something. Sit down if you can. We'll soon stand up and pray. Listen. Listen to me. When you study the laws of mechanics, Sir Isaac Newton postulated a law. We call it the first law of mechanics. And this is what it states that everybody continues in its uniform motion or a static state right it remains there until compelled by an external force to act otherwise through the law of inertia that if i leave this in one place theoretically speaking thank you i should come and find it in one place after a long time that's how the, your destiny will be if you sit down and you are wishing it will remain like that the only thing that will be changing is your age but your condition will remain the same how about men have you seen families where the men never leave their parents homes there is such a thing they bring their wife all the cousins and their wives to their father's house you see that the house they are staying was the grandfather's house the guy works in nmpc but cannot rent a good house you ask him why you say okay i'll do something about it forever love him forever because this god is too good i will worship him forever love him forever because this god I learned certain principles I knew now I was already getting their results when I learned the principle I knew that truly favor and the mercy of God really qualifies the unqualified I have seen levels of breakthrough in my life that happened before I knew the principles that brought them yes this is true way before I understood principles of church growth and increase I have been seeing the hand of God. And if there is a science to growth, if you don't know it, it should not happen. But mercy, mercy, mercy. Tonight we are going to invoke mercy upon our lives, 
upon our families and take away this air of pride that makes you think I have to marry because I'm beautiful. I think I'm intelligent. I should be a millionaire by now. The pride of men is the reason why they never get qualified for mercy. One of the most powerful mysteries of exemption against causes, against yokes. Listen, I've seen people, Ejimi, they are not even born again yet, but sincerely. You know, they call it in house affair in Jimmy. You've seen that happen? They take their names to the Habalists and the Habalists will reject it and they are not born again. They don't love God. They don't know Him. But their hearts are so sincere. Somehow they know there is a God out there and whoever it is, they are grateful to Him. And God says, protect them. Regardless of the fact that they are not prayerful, their hearts are wicked, yet God protects them. I've seen drunkards on the road that would drink to stupor and enter their car and drive safely back home. They never fear death. And somehow you even pray and say you are a wicked man. God will deal with you. But you will find out that 10 years that guy is still drowsing his way in this world and not dead. They never fear anything. They fear that there is crisis. Bomb will explode where you know they are. In the night you still see him back. Safe and hale and hearty. You didn't die and he laughs. That guy doesn't take communion. That guy has never attended prayer meeting. That guy has never attended miracle service. He doesn't even know what his genotype is. Honestly, he doesn't know whether he's sick or healthy. All he knows is that his heart is a sincere heart and it cries out to God. Destroy it not, for there is a blessing in it. Destroy it not, for there is a blessing. This is what has kept some of our parents so because you know that it is based on keeping the principles of the kingdom they would have died sins it would have you would have swallowed them if the lord had not been by my side now may israel say i think of what men would have done to me when i didn't know the principles of restoration when i didn't know the principles of long life i imagine what would have happened and I wonder how many things I do not know now that I will know in the future. How I walk in the midst of the valley of the shadow of death, yet His mercy keeps me. If all else fail, invoke His mercy. I give you a formula. If all else fails, invoke His mercy. You have submitted names for prayer requests and nothing has happened. Lord, mercy for my family. They are all sinners. Mercy for my family. Mercy for this yoke of darkness that is destroying men. Nobody in my family is making it. And on legal basis, the devil has his hold upon them. And if you try to talk to them, the painful part is they won't listen to you. Because the God of this system has blinded their minds. But you can invoke mercy. Invoke mercy. Invoke mercy. Are you blessed tonight? I want you to sing for me the stanza of that song. Himela. Himela. Oh, Kaka, help me. Oh, yeah, yeah. One of the thunder. Inela, Inela, everyone. Just that thunder, the thunder of the song. That's what I really want to hear. When I think upon your goodness. Your faithfulness each day. I'm convinced it's not because I am worthy. Oh, hallelujah. To receive the kind of love that you give. But I'm 
is a weapon and you are about to use it now ha. and he showed me joshua the high priest standing before the lord and the accuser came before him attempting to rail accusations and he said is this not a reed that i have taken out of fire and he said the lord rebuke you listen the mercy of god is a weapon you can use it and say satan i know you are supposed to destroy me but what about this i present to you the mercy of god i present to you the blood of the eternal covenant i present to you the advocacy of jesus at the right hand of the father standing and speaking i present to you the sinless blood i present to you calvary Tonight you are going to use it as a weapon over the devourer. I know I've not been a titer. You are authorized to destroy me. But see the blood. When I see the blood, when I see the blood, when I see the blood, you should be destroyed. But the blood will speak. Hear me. You live the wayward life and all kinds of things happen. And the earth cries against you. But when I see the blood, when I see the blood, you were involved in all kinds of blood covenants and fraternities in ignorance. But now that you are in Christ, when I see the blood, lift up your voice and plead the blood. Hey! In God's mercy. Come on now. In Hallelujah. Hear me. The Bible says, blotting out every handwriting. There are handwritings. There are records kept in the realm of the spirit that testify that you should not live long. There are records in the realm of the spirit that testify that you should not be blessed. There are records in the realm of the spirit that testify that you should not have any child again. The devil says you wasted all your children and all of them have gone. There is a record in the realm of the spirit that says you have misused all the opportunities that you were given but tonight plead the blood it can blot it out come on now it can blot it out Ripa pa 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 pa
Makosa, Mande de la Bagara, was he praying? Hear me, a cause causeless shall not stand. A cause causeless. So if the blood of Jesus takes away the legal access, the effect must leave me too. Open your mouth and declare every pattern. You have been blotted. You need my life. Patterns of barrenness. Patterns of failure. Come on now, Koinonia, are you praying? I the blood of Jesus, 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 Listen, listen, listen. Listen. When you activate this, you will find out that no longer will there be an accusation to say, oh, you once in, were in the world, you committed 19 abortions and blood is speaking and that's why your life is not moving. It should not move. But now that you have invoked mercy, it makes the cause causeless. That means it should not come again. Are we together? You stole money. Help them please. And all of that, you destroyed another person's destiny. But now that you are in Christ, what of the blood? He showed me Joshua the high priest. Please take seriously. This is what I did for my own life, oh. Let me tell you. For we rise to our access to mysteries in the kingdom. I want to pray for you. But we are going to pray one more prayer point. Hear me. The Bible says, the scripture we started in. Give us that scripture again, Lamentations. 5 verse 7 please quickly we want to pray and then we'll round up Lamentations chapter 5 verse 7 our fathers have seen and are not and we have borne their iniquities but now if I appropriate the revelation that I've been called out of every tribe out of every tongue out of every nation I can't go to hell because I, I was born in Kogi or I was born in Plateau State. I did ask them to do witchcraft. And now that they have done it, if the land is caused, I exempt myself. I can't be a victim of another man's wickedness. Listen, I'd like you to pray with all your heart and say, I begin a new order. A new order. Dissociated from the past. Alienated from witchcraft and causes and yoke by the blood of the eternal God. Why are you praying? Alienated. Every biological disability. Every genetic disability. Pray. Every yoke that made you ill. That made you ill. Hey, I'm not 
Lift your hands, I want to pray for you. This is our year of triumph. Now, thanks be to God who causes us always to triumph. I want to pray for you. Listen, let me tell you if God be God, everything that you are carrying. I don't care whether it's self-inflicted. You have invoked the blood. The blood provokes the compassion of the Christ. His advocacy at the throne of the Father does not happen automatically. It happens in response to an incense sent from the earth. The same way his high priestly ministry, the Bible says is in the order of Melchizedek. Melchizedek did not speak until he had an encounter with Abraham. And he gave him a tenth of all. I want to pray for you now because there are lives and destinies under the yoke of witchcraft koinonia remains an uncomfortable place for them until it shall come to pass in that day that the burden shall be lifted from off your neck and the yoke from off your shoulder and it shall be destroyed because of the anointing yes I stretch my hands right now. Hear me. I'm hearing in my spirit household wickedness and the fire of God is falling upon all who are victims of that. I stretch my hands right now. Let it be. Shabbos Kupadabash. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God. Inside, outside, I stretch my hand. Be free right now. Be free right now. In the name of Jesus, be free right now. From activities of witchcraft. Hallelujah. Demonic activities. Strangers coming to you in the night. To sleep with you. Men, women, animals. And all kinds of things coming to destroy you plant rubbish in your body i pray right now in the name of jesus anyone who is a victim of every kind of manipulation in dreams caused as a result of ancestry right now in the name of jesus i command freedom i command liberty i command freedom i command liberty the blood speaks right now in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. He said, The earth is cursed for your sake. He says, With the sweat of your brows shall you eat. But the Bible says in Galatians chapter 3, verse 29, it says, And if ye be Christ, then are ye Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise. I want to speak and set you free. There is a cause of hardship. Many people are victims of this cause. Hardship has nothing to do with poverty. Listen carefully. Many people here, you are standing representing your families as I pray. And right now in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God, I stretch my hands right now. I command that yoke be taken from off your shoulder. Help them. Be taken from off your shoulder. Be taken from off your shoulder. Right now in the name of Jesus, I command that cause of action be taken from off your shoulder. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hear me, I declare to you a dimension of ease you have never seen in your life. Step into it right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every yoke of disfavor, bad luck, that looms around the life of men and women here, so that you never rise, is like a veil on your face. And anyone who sees you walks against you, I'm 
Brataska Leketa. I command that veil. Be taken off right now. Be taken off right now. Be taken off right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. And Cain said, My punishment is too great. He said, I have become a fugitive and a vagabond. He said, All who see me will slay me. All who see me will slay me. All who see me will slay me. Whether they are strangers, something upon me makes all who see me to slay me. Any mark, Seketo Shalakras Kadavadiasha. Lebrain Tekes Kotabras Kadadias. Any mark upon your life, upon your business, upon your ministry that keeps attracting walls, keeps attracting scandal, keeps attracting negativism. Right now, in the name of Jesus, that must be blotted forever. Be blotted forever. Be blotted forever. Any strange sickness in your body, through your blood, that came from ancestry, genotypes, SS, Jakatosia, AS. There's no such reality in the realm of the spirit. That provision does not exist. It's a manipulation from the second heaven, altering the genetics of men. But right now, in the name of Jesus, every blood related issue passed to you by covenant i blot it out of your body right now i blot it out right now in the name of jesus christ hallelujah the classic sign of causes and yokes is the presence of patterns you usually are not the first to experience that but i want to prophesy right now i don't know what patterns you have seen around your life you have seen around your finances you have seen around your work with god you are up today down tomorrow you are serious today on serious tomorrow you love the lord today you love something else tomorrow your ministry rises today crashes tomorrow your finances is up today and is blown like the wind in the name of jesus the bible says every house is built by some man but god is the builder therefore i decree and declare that any pattern any spiritual construction that was built by an agency other than the christ in the name that is above all names i command a tearing down and a rebuilding now 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 i announce to the realm of the spirit whatever should have happened to your life by now for good but because of the presence of these embargoes there are dimensions you should have entered in christ there are levels of growth levels of advancement and influence and wisdom and access that you should have been a custodian of by grace and for whatever reason certain objections have risen in the realm of the spirit to stop you in the name of jesus christ i provoke restoration right now 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 i pray over your life and the hand of the lord came upon elijah and the bible says elijah ran on barefoot and overtook the chariots of ahab down to jezreel i want to speak speed in your life i don't know what tied you down by now according to the program of god for you you should have entered certain levels you should have been the mother of four children now 
but you are yet to have one. Therefore, I command speed. Step into it right now. In the name of Jesus, I command speed. Speed of accomplishment. Speed of accomplishment. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Last prayer point I want to pray for you. For there is an unction that can come on a man. There is an anointing that can produce an outcome that is not available in the earth. There is an anointing that is called the breaker anointing, the yoke destroying. There is such a provision in the kingdom to not only be set free but to be a possessor of a spiritual substance that is capable of causing everyone within the influence of your grace to come under the influence of the liberty that you possess. It's an anointing. There is a provision in the dealings of God with men where men can carry atmospheres that have prophetic implication to all those who come within the circumference of that atmosphere. You will not have the time to pray for everybody, but you can carry a climate. I want to release a grace and unction upon your life that you will go back home. You will go back to regions. You will go back to places. You will enter your room. There are physical territories that are caused, but like Mara, the water, you will pick it and in the name of Jesus, you will change that situation. Like the, listen, listen, listen. The Bible says that the prophets were eating and they said there is death in this food. And he said, bring me flour. And he put it and said, go ahead and eat. There is an ability, there is an unction that can fetter the plants of darkness. In the name of Jesus, wherever you are, like a mantle, may that anointing come upon your life right now. So touch to that, let the to get a breaker anointing, the grace and the unction, carry the fire, carry the grace, carry the unction, command deliverance, make environment cost free in the name of Jesus. May your presence, your presence in your home. Your presence in your office, your presence in your ministry, sustain an ability to nullify ordinances, nullify yokes, and causes and enchantment. Surely they shall gather, but because their gathering is not of God, there is a substance you possess that will disengage everything that is of God. Receive it now in the name of Jesus. as far as the earth remains so when you can see the morning the mercy of God is valid mercy mercy is the attribute of God listen that provokes his help to your life regardless of your satisfying the condition for it or not mercy is a powerful attribute that is the ancient secret that the nation of Israel used to turn around battles. When they sinned against God, God gave them over to their enemies. And every time a prophet would intercept, there was an enchantment. They would have to chant something. You are good and your mercy. It was not a song. 
it was an invocation every time they started singing that song for he is good and his mercy see how many times the psalmist uses it the psalmist was a benefactor of the mercy of god did everything wrong but every time god want to come in he will remind him the lord is gracious and compassionate slow to anger and rich in love the bible tells us that the lord's mercy can triumph come on now that the lord's mercy can triumph over judgment so when i get to the end of my road i know that i am deserving of everything should happen that should happen yes my father sacrificed to idols yes my carelessness i am not a tighter i am qualified for financial bankruptcy the last card i danced it did not work i prayed it did not work the attribute for bailout is invoking the mercy of god you are good and your mercy is forever hallelujah you are good and your mercy is forever hallelujah Samson lost his strength to Delilah the Bible says his eyes were plucked. The symbol of light in his life. And the mystery that surrounded his power. His hair shoven completely. And they took him. The Bible says they took him to their temple. To make mockery of God. Everything was over. But as Samson leaned there. They didn't watch the hair grow. He said, oh Lord. He cried for mercy. And the moment he did that. See there is one prayer God cannot say no to. If you have never been confident of a prayer that will be answered, try the prayer of mercy. Invoke mercy. Lord, I know I am undeserving of this. But I invoke your mercy. It is of the Lord's mercy. Listen! It is of the Lord's mercy. Meaning, my lifetime is too vast for me to not have made a mistake. But it is of the Lord's mercy. Somewhere in my work, it creates a system, a provision. See, let me tell you. It is on grounds of this that the Bible can say, Rejoice not over me, my enemies. For when you think, Ah, there was a time this car now had an accident. Will he ever rise again? Don't go. Ah. the worst witchcraft in your life is to stop you from receiving God's mercy you are finished mercy and Samson pushed and the Bible says he killed more people at his death than his lifetime what of blind Bartimaeus thou son of David hold on he never said heal me the Bible says God will give us the desires of our heart I thought it would be thou son of David heal me he said thou son of David have mercy mercy is an open check and God had to come he left and came thou son of David there were two condemned criminals on the cross condemned once you hang on that cross it's over for you two condemned criminals one was talking nonsense like many people are still doing they are quarter to finish in life and they are still making noise and the other one provoked his mercy and he said this day today not tomorrow today you will be with me in paradise are we together listen the mercy of god is an attribute you need in your life it's not for sinners the mercy of God was designed in your work with him to remedy for your limitations. There is such a thing as limitation. If I tell you every anointing that is in my life is just because of prayer and fasting, I will be lying. No. I have mastered the art of God's mercy. Years ago, during a pastor's, a pastor's conference, the ministers were lying down and praying 
and the minister who was testifying this said he went to lie down close to Papa Deboe to hear the prayer he was praying and he said for over two or three hours all Papa Deboe was saying was mercy mercy Lord you would think he stole church money he knew he understood to pastor millions of people you don't just need anointing you need mercy Jesus met a woman by the well. When he met that woman by the well, they started a conversation. Number one, that woman was a prostitute. Correct? And then because of that, more the disciples, oh, no, 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 don't come and corrupt Jesus. You are a bad woman. And Jesus started talking with her. And she started touching his mercy. And at the end of it, that woman ran and said, come and see the man who has told me what I have done. Mercy. Mercy vetoes everything in your life. And when the door settles, you are still standing. That's why you see, those who know this, when people are dancing and saying, the power of my might has given me this. Oh, this great ministry, Koinonia, Apostle, what wisdom. You are such an anointed man. I just laugh and look at them. You need to hear my prayer in the secret place. The mercy of God. When David, one day, the Bible says, when kings go for war, David was meandering his balcony, correct? And he looked at somebody's wife, she was bathing. And from the altitude, he could see her nakedness and he desired her. The Bible says he sent and they fetched that woman and they came. He now got a man's wife pregnant and ordered that they go and call Uriah in the sheet of war. Not minding whether the nation of Israel would die. They carried Uriah and brought Uriah. Uriah said, my king, I'm here. He says, I just wanted you to come and have you seen your wife recently? He says, ah, have you forgotten the ordinances of Israel? I should be there in the heat of battle. And he got angry. And all he did listen was to write a letter a man's own death sentence and gave him to the battle and the painful part is that he died question what was the difference between Cain and David Cain killed Abel blood started crying meaning when David killed Uriah blood should be crying correct david went wept 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 when all of that happened you would think that after the, the child died you will now tell the wife it's okay go i will marry you again who was the mother of solomon he did it again correct is david that will write his sins and ask them to sing it as a song. If it had not been the Lord by my side, now may Israel sing. If it had not been the Lord, he will ask the nation of Israel to chorus for his mercy shall endure ever faithful, ever sure. And they will begin to sing it. God want to destroy David. David would just find, he knew how to just tie God down. And God said, this is a man after my own heart. A man that understands. Not even Moses was called a man after his heart. Mercy. This is what our families need. This is what we need. This is what many ministries need. This is what many businesses need. Let me tell you something. We are rounding up. There is a system to be a recipient of God's mercy. Number one. A broken and a contrite heart. Write it down. Arrogant people are never qualified to be the benefactors of God's mercy. For as long as you think by yourself and in your strength you are qualified and deserving, you will never have it. Rain is your mercy towards me. Your loving kindness towards me. 
Your tender mercy I see day after day. forefathers did not do anything, you are a joker. But the mercy of God has a way of exempting you. The mercy of God has a way of exempting you from the rubbish and the nonsense that should be your lot. The mercy of God can change any negative prophecy over any man's life, regardless of what was seen about you. A particular prophet now came and met David correct and then started to speak to him in parables there was a certain man who had a vineyard and somebody somebody came and grabbed the vineyard and David said who is that was angry say you are the one no watch this do you know David was supposed to die we have a series on mercy that we'll deal with I don't want to go there but do you know when you read that scripture when David asked for mercy God said that death had been taken from him David would have died David would have died the wages of sin is not sickness the wages of sin is death but mercy but mercy but mercy there are some of you here legally you are supposed to be failures in life so based on that concoction those who knew you had the gods to even prophesy it and what they were saying is right but mercy when you introduce mercy to the equation calculation changes everything changes so a murderer like Moses could now become a deliverer by the mercy and the grace of God. He said it is of the Lord's mercy that we are not consumed. Let me tell you, one of the greatest ways to break causes, hear me, one of the greatest ways to end causes is to invoke the mercy of God. The mercy of God. The mercy of God over your life invoke the mercy of God over the works of your hands the moment even as human beings if somebody tells you sorry if I look at you now come and make up I look at you and I say look you know you did this and I'm supposed to deal with you and all of a sudden you kneel down and say sir I am sorry do you not know that this position paralyzes me at once I look at you and say ah, I hate you but you have done something now that ah, on a very good day what I plan to do for you I would have dealt with you I would have humiliated you I would have made sure your career were miserable but mercy and the terrible thing about all the well not terrible in righteousness about mercy is that every time mercy is invoked it not only solves the current problem it promotes you mercy will always lift mercy will always lift it will not just take away the current predicament but it will lift you and take you higher higher by the mercy and the grace of God by the mercy and by the grace of God so it says thou shall arise and have mercy upon Joshua Selma upon Koinonia for the time the time the Lord wants to lift me 
but there are certain levels of light and illumination i do not yet know and if i'm to wait until i know all those things i may never rise so he introduces his mercy and i rise to realms that even me i know that is beyond my level of understanding the mercy of god you will find yourself in the company of people you know your age and your level in life should not bring you their skills brought them but the mercy of god took you there as we travel around i have seen the honor of god by the grace of god and it never stops humbling me when i see the things that people do on account of their perception of the grace of god upon my life sometimes i stand by the mirror and i look i say except for the mercy of god who dash monkey banana who really dash monkey banana you see it's not false humility it's an acknowledgement of truth the mercy of god You are there boasting about being an entrepreneur and you don't have up to 100,000 in your account. You better realize that there is a dimension of the mercy of God in this equation that can arise and lift you. Are you hearing what I'm saying? There is a dimension in ministry. I believe in principles. I teach principles here. But let me tell you the truth. There are many gaps in this equation to success that we are still learning how it works there are still gaps and one thing i've learned is that those gaps are provisions that only god can feel that's where his mercy comes in and he amplifies and multiplies little things and your life becomes a sign and a wonder because i have seen women who never train their children the children eight children all of them became great they got born again five are pastors all of them are millionaires they love god they are wonderful people walking in the ways of god but the woman and her husband don't know jack about parenting that one is not wisdom again let the wise man not glory in his wisdom let the strong man not glory in his strength the bible says but let him that glory at glory in this that he understand it and knoweth me hallelujah praise the lord you see in the bible the bible said um there was a man jesus says all right hallelujah praise the lord praise the lord somebody we believe that god's servant apostle Joshua Simon has blessed your life from this video you just watched just right now all right um once again welcome to reflect up tv uh we believe that uh your life is changing your life is transforming from glory to glory just a quick word from scripture the bible said that uh when jesus came to the tomb of lazarus he said he called the name of lazarus he said lazarus come forth and as soon as he made mention of that the grave rattled and the man lazarus came out from the grave and everybody was stunned they were surprised and were amazed from this kind of miracle that Jesus wrought during that day and that time. In the same way also that Jesus wrought that kind of miracle, you can also say to every situation in your life right now that you are battling with right now, you can also tell that situation, rise up, come forth. You can also speak to your blessings, come forth. Everything you know that is dead in your life that are supposed to be alive, you can speak to those things and begin to command them to come forth in your life. You can speak to that situation. Situation, you, you cannot be in my life. Die, I command you to leave me. Go away in the name of Jesus Christ. If you can as much as do these things. You see, most of us many times, we don't keep to the principles of scripture. We don't keep to the principles that makes things work. Jesus showed us, he, he performed all of these things so that we can see and also begin to make these things work in our life. If you can as much as follow through that same principle, it will also work for you. So it means that in the place of prayer, you can command things, you can set things aright, and you can set things, you can, you can command the things that, 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 that should not be. You can command them to go away. You can command the things that, that should be to be in your life. 
the blessings of God should be in your life. The favor of God should be in your life. The increase you want should be in your life. Your, 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 the school fee you need to pay should be in your life. The, the, the money, the financial blessings, whatever it is, in the place of prayer, we can access into the utmost powerful places that are, 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 are not available for us ordinarily in the place of prayer. So imagine Jesus Christ. He told Lazarus, he said, Lazarus, come forth. And Lazarus immediately, the grave could not hold him captive. The Bible said immediately, even after it was like about three days or so, about seven days or so now, the man had been dead. Jesus was not around. But as soon as he came, the guy was already, the, his, his body was already uh, uh, um, decaying. And still, Jesus still told that dead body to come back to life. And the body came back to life. And that was why he said his the resurrection and he's alive. Every death situation can come back to life. Every every situation that needs to live your life can, can live your life. Only if you understand the power of prayer. And this is what the message and, the, and, the, and, and, and all of the videos that you see on this platform are, are aimed at. That the things should, that should be in our life be in our lives. And the thing that should not be in our life should not be in our life. And we are trusting and believing God that as you are following on this platform, your life receives that same blessings in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you for following. If you're a new viewer, I uh, would advise you, would like you to please subscribe to this channel. All right. Click on the subscribe button down below and drop a comment in the comment section. Tell us how God has been a blessing to you, how this platform has been a blessing to you. All right. And also like this video. Um, so that others who have not seen this video can also see this video and it also be a blessing to them too as well and share this video with your loved ones your family your friends all right let them also be a partaker of these blessings of this release of prayer from god's servant apostle joshua selman the lord bless you so much for reflective tv we love you we celebrate you and thank you see you in our next video god bless you